is up guys i'm daddy gamer fred back again with another mario 64 video in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys exactly where to find the blue switch, the invisible cap switch inside of Mario 64. Now, in order to get access to this hidden level, all you need to do is drain the moat. Drain all of the water outside of the castle in the front yard area under the bridge. Once you have done that, you are going to have access to this, like, quote unquote, I'm going to just call it a sewer opening area. Now, if you need help on how to actually drain the water from this place, I I did a full video already on how to drain the water but just a short version there is a room that you have to go to and ground pound two pillars this is the room you have to make your way through the castle to this room and just basically ground pound this pillar ground pound this one and then the water will drain from the outside as well as the inside area that you were just in and then what you want to do is make your way this way to actually enter into that secret level now, if the water is filled here and you try to swim your way in, you're going to be greeted with a gate. And that gate goes away once you have drained the water. Now, just like all Switch courses, this one also has eight red coins. You get the eight red coins. You get a secret star inside of the game. Now, the star counts, I believe for one of the castle's secret stars. But again, it's one that you would need if you're trying to complete the game 100%. So I'm also gonna go over how to get those red coins in here. It's pretty straightforward, but it, well, I'm gonna show you where they all at and the best possible way to actually get all of them. Again, this is the Vanish Cap course, and there is a blue switch here, which will turn all those blue boxes into banish cats where it basically turns you invisible just like how mario is now and he could go through some walls i say some walls because look there's still walls he still can't go through but there are like gates and stuff that he completely can't so let's jump down the first thing i'm gonna do is get a quick sneak peek of where we're going because it's a huge slide down that leads to a death if you don't do it correctly so what i want to do is just line myself up see that the first red coin is here jump here and then ground pound real late so i can be safe and just land here grab the red coin now as you can see it's kind of like a steps down kind of vibe right here for the second one go right here ground pound real late you should be good take no fall damage um if you take four damage you should be fine due to the fact that there's tons of coins in this level as well as you're going to be getting red coins on the way down you're going to be gaining your health back up now for the next jump what you want to do is actually not towards a red coin it's actually towards this yellow box just jump here again late ground pound so you could get um no fall damage done you get a quick one up it doesn't really matter if you grab it or not however the second one that you want to however the next pillar we're going to jump to is where the second one up is at right here you want to just jump like ground pound boom now you're going to be probably tempted and want to jump at that right there where we see on the bottom of the screen we see another one up down there you don't want to just dive and just jump for that one you're going to also see below that there's a red coin in this one you don't want to just dive and just jump for that one if you dive and jump for that one nine times out of ten you're gonna hit the wall slide down gain enough speed to pass through and maybe get the red coin but you're also gonna also fall down and you don't want to do that there's actually no way to get back up what you want to do right here is literally just walk to this edge forward and just jump and again lay ground pound Take that leap of faith, don't be scared, get this red coin, and then jump over. You can grab this one, no problem. And there is a last free men that we can go over and get as well. Oh, oh, am I gonna make it? Nope, I am not gonna make it. I am not gonna make it. No, 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 no. Okay, so there is no more red coins there. There is that last free men that I missed, but that is it for the red coins on this like slide part of the wall again. You cannot really climb up and if you fall down there's a huge potential of you just falling down and then falling to your death here okay so now let's continue on and try to get this vanish cap as you can see it's still empty i need to go grab it beware of these like fire balls right here they spit fire but they're pretty easy to run by if you're just running by them you get a little seesaw action reminds me of fall guys a little bit now this guy obviously will let you cute you. You also got the fire guy if you wait here too long. But 
one quick somersault or a triple jump will make it up to here. And here, I believe there's just coins. Yep, three coins. And then where we get to is the probably the most painful thing to do in this secret course. And I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to have to do this a couple of times. Hopefully, I can do this in one shot. What you want to do is jump on these elevators. So just jump, watch your shadow, and then jump on these elevators. The tricky part is that there's also oh, red coins here. I didn't want to do it like that, but there's two red coins here that you also need to grab. And it's on this seesaw. So the first one is here as I just grabbed literally by luck, just jumping on the seesaw. And then the next one is here. And the thing that makes these elevators things tricky. Oh wow, I just felt my death. No, I'm moving at a good good pace. Good pace. Good pace. What do you want to do here again? Better is jump. Jump. I was gonna try to just rush for that, but let's not. Let's take our time. Let's take our time. Let's take our time. If you falls, okay. Just make sure you grab that red coin on the way. Boom. And you do want to jump off because it. Oh my god. Ooh! Whoa. Why did I dive? I don't know why I dive. Okay, so there's. This one's five and six. Go down like a pair of stairs right here. Now this one is kind of tricky dicky. But I made it up on this, but I didn't get the right coin. So I do want to jump back for that. Oh my god. There we go. Seven. And you just want to jump over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, jump over here, grab onto the ledge. Or you also could do a, a sideways flip right there as well. Um, okay, so let's grab this red coin. And this is a great way to kind of explain the visible cap and what you need to do. Because look, as you can see, in certain levels you're going to see, you know, stars hitting in like these squares or these gates and stuff like that. And one way to get through them is these invisible caps that come from these blue boxes now i say one way to get through them because usually there's always another way to get actually through these um boxes not all the time but usually there are secret ways let's get that before it falls let's get that before it falls oh nope it fell so let's get the star here we go And that's going to be how to get the blue cap, the vanishing cap, as well as one of the castle's secret stars inside of this hidden area below the castle. It kind of in the sewer section of the castle, if you want to call it that. Now, that's going to be all for today's video. If you still have any questions on how to get the blue cap, how to get to this level, or how to get the eight coins in this level, let's have that conversation down in the comment section below. If you're new around here, I answer all comments on all of my videos so we can chat it up in the comments if you have any questions about this video in particular. And again, if you are new around here and you are looking for some Mario 64 content, you are at the right place. I'm going to be doing guides for Mario 64 as well as Sunshine and Galaxy once I get to those games. As well as I cover tons of other video game stuff right here on the channel. So again, if you dig into vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommend it so other people can check out the videos. As well as if you found the video informative or helpful at any point, hit the like button. It does, it does go a long way. Now that's going to be it for me for today. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next Mario 64 video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment 
on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.